six years old and spellbound by the Denny Street lights. An ordinary street transformed by a thrumming, incandescent glow. I hold my dad's hand, tucked inside the pocket of his jacket, but I keep an eye on the glittering bulbs, feeling tugged upward by their beauty. Eight years old and holding a crisp five-year-old note, a lady paints my name onto a pink velvet headband and smiles, telling me that this doll is her entire life. Her being bursts with pride. Under the square's canopy of light, I am illuminated by her joy. Twelve years old, and the sticky wall arrives at birds' amusements. My cousins and sister exchange coins for plastic counters, but my heart sinks, growing heavy with fear. It's okay to want different things, my mother reminds me. And instead, I try candy floss for the first time with her, losing myself in the sweetness of the moment. Fourteen years old, and standing outside Vivaberg, watching the roses float by. There is a kaleidoscope of glee in the girl's smiles that is matched only by the mischief in the escort's winks. And I am almost sure the Sydney Roses way was just for me. Seventeen years old, and the speakers on Denny Street funnel the beat directly into my heart, where panic threatens to bubble over. But my friends take my hand in theirs, and we dance until the Queenland's Road, Queensland Rose, is crowned, and fireworks fall. Later, with no one watching, I catch myself smiling. Nineteen years old, and my best friend and I sit side by side in a Denny Street doorway. The silence between us overwhelmed by our leaving cert results, the CEO college decisions mere hours away, and the never-ending vastness of the future. Slowly, my, head, my friend rests her head on my shoulder. 22 years old, I'm mesmerized by the brass band in the Grand Hotel. I watch couples of all ages dance and shimmy to the trumpeting beat. Their smiles only grow when they accidentally tread on one another's toes. I am tugged onto the dance floor for a siege of Venice, and I move from partner to partner, trusting there will always be someone to guide the way. 25 years old, and an ABBA tribute band plays in the dome. Under the white twinkle lights, my spine shivers in pleasure. I dance with my friends, and later, when joy-filled tears run down my face, they embrace me, loving the depth at which I feel. Now, I'm 27 years old, I stand with the conviction my mother dreamed I would one day hold, the confidence my father is forever proud of, and the fierce pride my sister and I hold for one another. I stand here as a rose, among young women who illuminate my life beyond imagining. I stand here because of the warmth of my father's hand, the vibrancy of that vendor's smile, the sweetness of the candy floss, a simple wave from a rose to an unsure teenager dancing with my friends and shaking off the worries of the future and the undeniable beat of Mamma Mia. I stand here as wholly, completely and brightly myself.